Hey guys, I accepted to make a video about this printer with a singular purpose, to 3D print a progressive valve. But as you may or may not have seen, I already got the proper metal one, so... So without a lot of research, here are a few first impressions of what I think is the most attractive resin printer at the moment. That statement is only valid as long as it costs 250 bucks, because it doesn't really do anything revolutionary. It's one of many masked SLA printers based on CBD hardware. That means you can rely on a ton of info that has been published by thousands of AnyCubic Photon, Sparkmaster and One How printer owners. It's about a quarter of the size of a Peopoli Moai, with a little less than half of its print volume. Instead of a precise laser, its light source is an inefficient UV LED that needs a loud cooling fan. But with a high resolution masking LCD, it accomplishes quite an incredible print quality for the price. The Z axis is a bit meh. Profile rollers and a trapezoidal threaded rod. At the moment it's still excellent as can be seen by my print results. But I have a feeling that it's going to wear out and require hacking at some point. Just like the mainboard, with its deliciously hidden and deactivated Ethernet port. It doesn't do anything at all at the moment, I've looked at it with Wireshark. The slicer software is maintained by that CBD company that makes the fundamental hardware, and it feels wonderfully mature. It generates reasonable rafts and supports, but finding the correct numeric parameters for them is up to the user and even after a year of resin printing experience I almost never get it right the first try. You need a lot of patience and experience and the usual post-processing infrastructure to make it do the things you want. But if you need small and precise parts, it has never been easier to get started than with the Elegu Mars. Welcome to Mars. The forces required to peel a freshly cured layer from the vat can be quite substantial depending on the layer area. That's the main cause of problems, failed prints and frustration. A separation force expert who's developing a measurement and fault detection system for SLA printers suggested this interesting method. Put a piece of laser printer transparency film on the LCD, with a dull side facing towards the FEP vat. I only had a diffraction grating handy, but that too improved things noticeably. Most prominently, your vet will start looking a lot more interesting. The idea is to allow the FEP film to bulge a little in emergencies. It's evidently not a universal cure or anything, but the idea is quite brilliant, I think. I also wanted to reduce the Z-axis lifting speed to make the separation more gentle. I didn't find that option right away, but when I did, I was delighted. By exporting the configuration to a file, you're almost getting Peopoli Moai levels of customizability. By playing around with that a little bit, I got what I came for originally. Oil tight, completely 3D printed pistons and cylinders. Also, geometric accuracy for functional prints and close tolerance fine threads without any thread cutting tool after printing. Impressive for such a cheap printer. Does anybody know if a Formlabs machine will give you tightly fitting M3 threads if you give it an unedited model of the same? I'd love to know, because for a laser SLA machine, that's extra difficult. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you soon.